guys. back after that uh, little run with the Dromeda tire converted Sportworks Chaos. Uh, noticed a little bit of hesitation on some of the, just before some of the jumps there, and uh, popped the cover after running it. And uh, I know it's not much, but it's enough to be concerned. Uh, behind the muffler here, I've, I've cleaned it by now, but there were uh, metal shavings. And after closer inspection, the clutch bell is almost completely loose, which makes me think those clutch bearings are going out and uh, Sportworks is kind of weird about their clutch bearings. They're not really ball bearings like we know. They're actually uh, cylindrical metal tubes that are held in place by a little plastic sleeve. They look a lot like a one-way needle bearing but uh, there's there's no one-way mechanism to it. So uh, it, it's a pretty simple fix. Uh, shout out to Hop Me Up for uh, these parts. You can find them on eBay. Uh, they've got tons of stuff. You guys should check out their store uh, but we're just going to swap that out pull the engine, pull the clutch bell off, drop a new bearing in, hopefully that fixes it. We're doing this to make sure that our uh, clutch bell and spur gear stay in constant mesh and we're not grinding up our flywheel either. We'll give that a shot and uh, get back.
Well, that was a pretty simple, straightforward replacement. Uh, the original bearing wasn't worn out too bad, really. Uh, I did put a shim in behind the clutch belt to space it away from the flywheel a little bit, present more of that scraping. It doesn't ring nearly as much. It does roll quite a bit easier now. Uh, so something tells me that was, that was the main culprit. Um, so we're gonna get back out here. I don't have the, uh, the fellow drivers on the track anymore, so we're gonna start up solo. I do like this chaos for many reasons, but one of them is how easy it is to start um, and tune, honestly. There's only one carburetor needle, so what we're gonna do is really, I mean, don't need to touch it hardly at all, but I think it's something to do with that single carburetor needle that makes it quick to get fuel in. Uh, the intake fuel line is pretty short, uh, you know, maybe about an inch or so. Um, so that helps as well. But I'm, I'm talking, I, I can sometimes get it started in under 10 poles, which for something of this age and size really surprises me. Let's see what I can do here. Just prime it.
guys, thanks for watching my video of the Sportworks Chaos tearing up around the track. Uh, you'll notice I've got some cool new hot racing shocks on here. Uh, tune in next time for a video on that installation. Put those on immediately after running it. Realize they're all blown, but uh, that should make handling a little better. Maybe I'll be able to spank a few more tent scale brushless trucks. See you next time.